I'm Nikki from Simply Sweet Days, and because my family lives in San Diego, we go to the beach a lot, and I get a lot of questions from readers and our different audiences about like tips for beach trips with kids, um, and how, what do we pack for a beach trip. So today, I'm going to show you what is in my beach bag. Okay, full disclosure, I have two beach bags, but this is one, and um, this is a mesh beach bag. I got it on Amazon about four or five years ago, but I check constantly and you guys, it is still available because it is an amazing beach bag. It's good for picnics or the lake or whatever and it's mesh all the way around with tons of pockets. This is, I think it's um, Digeroo brand? I don't know. I'll link it down below. Um, and I'm not sponsored, by the way, this video is not sponsored in any way by any of the products I mentioned. This is just what is in my bag. So what I love about this bag is it can hold five towels, maybe more. Um, I usually bring five um, for, well, because everybody needs a towel. Um, so one, two, I just put three in for the video. Um, so other than towels, I always bring snacks. Um, our go-to snacks are something salty, chips, or um, popcorn, ooh, or that pirate's booty. Mm, I don't have any of that right now. Wish I did. Um, I bring kids snacks. I am um, super efficient and I jam a lot of snacks in one box. So this doesn't necessarily have gummies. We call these gummies. It has granola bars, maybe a couple other things. So that, that covers snacks. That's one of my kids' most important things. But what are the snacks? Um, I also bring, okay, so hear me out. <laughs> yes, this is a plastic breakfast bowl, but the reason is because when my kids were little, they would bring all kinds of sand toys. This bag is great for carrying sand toys. Um, they, and it was just, uh, it was a lot to keep track of. And, um, I'm just, I'm all about simplifying things and making life easier on me. So this is what we bring for digging, for carrying water, for making castles. This is it. Everybody gets a bowl. And I use one because I bring my own beach umbrella and so I scoop out a nice size hole so the wind doesn't knock it over with my bowls. They're sandy. We use these. So, um, <laughs> it's silly. We got these at Walmart. It was like a 12 pack and these were the colors they didn't like. Bowls. Okay, we bring oodles and oodles of sunscreen. So let's just get started on the sunscreen. Uh, this one is for faces. This is um, Neutrogena Wet Skin Kids Beach and Pool, and it's a stick. It's SPF 70, and it's water friendly. Applies to wet or dry skin. That's what I love about this, because I'll yank them out constantly out of the water, because my kids are in the water nonstop. So I have to pull them out and say, time to reapply. And then it, hold on. You can scoop it up or roll it back down, just like chopstick. Yeah, ours is kind of sandy and gross because it gets a lot of use. We use a spray-on kind. This happens to be Banana Boat. I think it was on sale. Um, it's SPF 100, broad spectrum, um, water resistant for 80 minutes, so we reapply about every hour or so. Um, I like this because I usually go to the beach by myself with kids myself. I wish I went by myself. <laughs> I'm usually the only grown-up and so this is really fast to spray everybody. Although my concern with these is the coverage isn't great so we do reapply a little more frequently with with this kind. But it's easy so it's okay. It's my backup in case that one runs out. It's my other backup in case those two don't <laughs> run out. So and this one is um, copper tone and it's got that zinc stuff. Um, we were using this at the beginning of the summer and it just took so long for me to apply sunscreen on everybody that we switched to the spray. But this is a, this is really good, really good. It just kind of leaves you a little filmy, a little white, like flaky, pasty looking. Okay, so other than that, there's nothing that I really need to bring in this bag, but it is full of shells. Um, so the cool thing about this bag is it has lots and lots of pockets and it does have a zipper pocket inside where you can put... Um, like cell phone keys, credit cards, stuff like that. Um, but I'll show you why I don't do, put mine in here. And it's mesh so the sand just slides right out of it before you even get to the car. So like I don't usually shake this out when I get home. It's, that's just how it looks. It, the sand is gone. So this is awesome. 
Okay, my other bag is, this is mostly food, because snacks run our day. So this happens to be Igloo brand. I looked on Amazon, they don't have this in stock right now, such a bummer. Um, this one came from, um, from I think Rite Aid. And so it's got two handles, and zipper here, zipper here, and a zipper on the inside, little pocket on the inside, um, pocket outside. So what I do is, I fill up water bottles. I take a Nalgene everywhere I go to make sure I drink a lot of water. So I fill up a water bottle the morning before the beach, pop it in the freezer um, a good four or five hours before we go, and then it's not frozen, but it's nice and frosty. So that goes in here and it helps keep everything cold. We also might freeze some yogurt um, pouches. Those are pretty good. Um, they'll stay, they actually thaw pretty fast, but they at least stay cool in there. And um, for kids, we could bring regular um, disposable water bottles, but we use these because they don't spill with a disposable water bottle. I think we squirted. Um, the kids make a big mess, they spill things. So this one is Camelback, this is Johnny's. What I love about this bag is the giant pocket because I have one of those iPhones with the three things here and it's really, really big. So it couldn't fit in that beach bag anymore. So this bag is great for that. I tuck my phone in here, keys, and some cash, and we're good to go. I like that this has a nice, pretty flowery print. I don't know if you know me, but I love pink. <laughs> so these are my two beach bags. Um, and if you have anything that you'd like to add or maybe questions or what works for you, I would love for you to share that down below. Thanks.